Although some speculate about Norman or French origins, the Lamont clan is thought to have originated in Ulster. The name Lamont finds its roots in the Old Norse word Logmore, which translates to lawman or lawgiver. This Norse connection merged with Gaelic heritage through a son of the O'Neill princes of Tyrone, forging the unique identity of the Lamont clan. The earliest recorded evidence of Lamont chiefs can be found in 13th century charters. Lormanus, the son of Malcolm, granted lands and the Church of Kilfinan to the monks of Paisley, solidifying the Lamont's presence in the region. These grants were later confirmed by Malcolm, son of Lanmanus, showcasing the clan's influence and prominence. By the 15th century, the direct line of Lamont chiefs is believed to have faltered, leading to the representation of the family passing to the Lamonts of Inverne, who would later adopt the title Lamont of Lamont. With strongholds at the formidable castles of Toward and Ascog, the Lamonts safeguarded their heritage until the arrival of a powerful rival. The rise of the Campbell clan posed significant challenges for the Lamonts. The Campbells encroached upon the Lamonts' ancient lordship of Cowell, sparking tensions between the two clans. Sir James Lamont of Lamont, a respected leader deeply invested in his people's welfare, aligned his clan with the royalist cause. This decision brought the Lamonts face to face with their powerful Campbell neighbors. In 1646, a Campbell army invaded Lamont territory, besieging the castles of Toward and Ascog. Despite apparent honorable terms, Sir James Lamont found himself thrown into a dungeon at Dunstaffnage, enduring five years of terrible conditions. The Lamont massacre saw over 200 clansmen, women, and children lose their lives, while the castles were reduced to ruins. These atrocities were later raised against the Marquis of Argyle during his trial in 1661, staining his reputation as a Highland chief. The Lamonts sought refuge at Ard Lamont, where the last chief to reside in Cowell was born in 1845. However, in 1893, the remaining clan lands were sold, and the present-day chief currently resides in Australia. Despite the challenges and the eclipse cast by their Campbell oppressors, the Lamont's legacy endures, as their history resonates with tales of honor, loyalty, and the enduring spirit of the Scottish clans.